And welcome back. Today we do have the monster box. We've been testing this out. We've done a series of videos. So if you missed any of them, make sure you guys do check it out. Um, today I'm going to show you guys here how to get the developer options settings on this thing. Some people were asking about it. Um, they want to get in here. They want to mess with the apps with unknown sources. How do you do it? It's going to be a very short and sweet video so that way you guys know what it is. Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Always try to get you guys here all the latest and greatest stuff. So, okay, here we go. Um, first thing, we're going to get this out of the way. Let's come here to uh, system settings. And we are going to go to apps. When you go to apps, go to restrict uh, security restrictions. And then click on unknown sources. Now, anything that you download, this is where it's going to be at. So I did get downloader. It said uh, when I first got it, it was turned off like this. It said not allowed. So I had to turn it on. So that way I can download apps. Now, if you get some other like Firefox, Google, whatever it is, this is where you're going to want to put it. So be sure that you have that turned on. Now, when it comes to your developer options, this thing actually has it restricted. I know people were wondering, can I get to developer options? You actually can't. Um, if there's anybody anybody that knows how to do it, put it in the comment section below. But I am going to about, um, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom where it says Android TV OS build. And typically when you hit it seven times, you get a little pop-up that says uh, you are now a developer. This one, if I keep click, 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 it doesn't matter how many times I do it. You can see it's like glowing and stuff. It doesn't do anything for me. And I've tried some of the other ones, kernel version, base version. I'm just like, I wonder if there's another one. Oh, here's a cool little cookie. If you do this with Android TVOS or build, you get a, a clock there. Nothing in here that I see that will open up, uh, uh, that, will, that will open it up. So, um... If I hit the back button looking for it, there is no developer options. Now, typically, if you know what you're doing, you can get it. But the other thing is this device is not rooted. So you're not going to be able to get to some of those options anyway because they are gonna they just have the device locked. If you do root the device, though, I got to say, you might break it. So don't do it. Um, and then anyway, this thing is fully built. So that way you don't have to mess with, with the device itself. But other than that, if you come here to apps, you can see all your apps, whatever it is that you want to download, um, any kind of options that you want, it's going to be all there anyway. You can even get to your system apps. If you do go to your device preferences, again, you're going to be able to mess with like your display and sound, which is your most important thing. Text scaling, match content frame rate, which is important. I put seamless. Um, and then you could do advanced display settings. This is going to be like HDMI out. You could do whatever option you want. I have it at the highest. You could do screen percentage, C CVBS output, um, a lot of options here. So even screen resolution, allow game mode. Um, you also have a thing here for audio. So anything with your audio enable pass through should be marked on audio output. This is everything that you have. So codec your optical or your hdmi whatever it is that you're doing and then of course you have some advanced sound settings so enable only the formats that are supported by your audio output device so that one's really good just leave that on um, and then show formats this is the stuff that you have so it does say it has dolby digital it does say it does have uh, plus true hd and dolby atmos dts dts hd so this is going to be all through pass through um, so it's got the options there. It has all the options that you need. So you really don't need to get into the, the developer options. As long as you're able to get whatever apps you want, you pretty much should be good to go. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I wanted to get you guys here a very simple and short video. Um, yeah, everything works on this thing very, very easily and it's extremely smooth. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys are doing well. You guys take care, take care of each other and I'll see you guys in the next one.